introduction to natural resources our environment provides us with a variety of goods and services necessary for our day to day lives these natural resources include air water soil minerals along with the climate and solar energy which form the non living or abiotic part of nature the biotic or living parts of nature consist of plant and animals including microbes plant and animals can survive as communities of different organisms all closely linked to each in their own habitat and requiring specific abiotic conditions thus forest grasslands deserts mountains rivers lakes and the marine environment all from habitats for specialized communities of plants and animals to live in interactions between the abiotic aspect of nature and specific living organisms together form ecosystem of various types many of these living organisms are used as our food resources others are linked to our food less directly such as pollinators and dispersers of plants soil animals like worms which recycle nutrient for plant growth and fungi and termiters that break up dead plant material so that microorganisms can act on waste to reform soil nutrients history of our global environment about 10000 years ago when mankind changed from a hunter gatherer living in wilderness areas such as forest and grasslands into an agriculturalist and pastoralist we began to change the environment to suit our own requirements as our ability to grow food and use domestic animals grow these natural ecosystems developed into agricultural land most traditional agriculturist depended extensively on rain streams and rivers for water later they began to use 
wells to tap underground water sources and to impound water and created irrigated land by building dams recently we began to use fertilizers and pesticides to further boost the production of food from the same amount of land however we now realize that all this has directed to several undesirable changes in our environment mankind has been ourselves and depleting natural resources the over indulgence use of land has been found to exhaust the capability the ecosystem to support the growing demands of more and more people all requiring more intensive use of resources industrial growth urbanization population growth and the enormous increase in the use of consumer goods have all put further stresses on the environment they create great quantities of soil waste pollution of air water and soil have begun to seriously affect human health Thank you have a nice day